Hello everybody and welcome back to Magic the Gathering Arena. I am Arctic Wolf and today may I present to you Goblin Ball, a mono red historic creation of mine. A slightly varied version of one of the decks that I saw Jim Davis play on a Mock Monday. There will be an in-depth uh, talk about how the deck works and what are the best lines to take at the end of the video after the games if you want to stick around to watch that don't forget to like and sub before you go let's take a look at what's in this thing we got four skirt prospector four goblin instigator two cranko 10 street kingpin four goblin war chief Two Squee the Immortal. Four Beetleback Chief. Four Goblin Gang Leader. These two are functionally identical cards. Two Goblin Thrash Masters. Three Krenko Mob Boss. Three Siege Gang Commander. Two Embercleave. And two Muxus, Goblin Granity. 24 mountains. If you look at the picture on this mountain, you'll see that that's a whole bunch of goblins in a big pile. That's not a mountain, that's a pile of goblins. That's the theme of the deck. You want to get as many goblins out as fast as possible and attack as often as you can. That's all you do with this deck, but I have to say it's really fun to play. Here we go. Playing against Rick Sanchez. Okay. Uh, this looks like a good hand to keep. Instigator, War Chief, ta a Thrash Master, Commander. Yeah. Let's do it. Give me a hello for 30 CC. Play a mountain, they go. Okay, yep, you want to wish a good game? Sure, I can do that. Yep, 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 Starfield Mystic. That's a good card. Seen a lot of him in the past few days. Uh, there we go. Blast the power of the power. call this deck Goblin Ball because it's a lot like Elf Ball. If you've ever heard of Elf Ball where you just mono green elves, this is the goblin version of that. We're going to make as many goblins as possible. Um, no attacks. You'll just chunk one of these things out. Shrines. Interesting. This tells me Shrine Stack. He's probably playing all five colors. He's probably got... This is Historic, so he's probably got all ten Shrines. Or eleven. Um... I think we want to make all of our goblins a little bit bigger. And then we'll attack with this one and this one. There we go, getting in there for some damage. And that's gonna leech back damage for the whole game. Ooh! That did a thing. Here, let's just siege gang it up. Hope that three siege gang commanders is enough to break him. Yep. Draw a card. Nice. Wow. 
Wow. Okay. Let's just keep going. We've got more cards in our hands. That means more goblins. Here we go. Krinko and Krinko. They work well together. that one do okay that's another one of that one why would you do that you save them to set to discard to the red one oh really He's at 20. Oh. Oh. Man. Oh, then he plays the red one. Oh, goodness. Many goblins. I'm gonna have to come up with a board where single spot removal is just not gonna cut it. You may be able to just shoot me to death. Yeah, that's a good game. Because he's got the gold one in five shrines. Tough beat. Tough beat, we put up a good fight. Yokai Natori? Yokai Natori? Okay, let's play against Yokai Natori. Um, this looks like a de decent start. Um, I would like to maybe get a three land opener or a Skirk Prospector in my opening hand usually, but this. Goblin Instigator on turn two is a good go. Good keep. And we drew into a third land, so we're, we're, we're good to go on the Krenko turn three. A Mind Stone. That's like a free turn for me. I'm playing Goblin. There you go. Formulate your plan. I love these Bob Ross lands. I didn't get them. Missed it. I, I wish they would just bring that back in the store and let me just get them. That one in particular is really pretty. Here's Crinkle's Pin Street Kingpin. And I attack for two. And you've got an arena, so that's just going to accelerate my game plan. Kaya. Fair enough. No, I needed to draw a land right there. I have enough of that guy. I was so gonna ever cleave him. He has no idea how lucky he is. There we go. That'll get something going. Because now I can sacrifice this guy. Oh wait, cancel that. We'll attack first.
Good to go. You are getting so cleaved. I'm gonna throw a thrash master down. Yeah, you're not gonna like that. Oh, dance of the mates to get back his golden egg. And, oh, that's cool. That's cool. I always like seeing dance of the mates played. That's just a, a good card that doesn't see enough play, in my opinion. Send the team. And then just enter. If he doesn't have an answer to this, he's done for. Free to equip. I'll put it on something else. Okay. Yeah, that's probably going to end up being your downfall. Fine. I'm keeping that one around. I'm not going to sack that to itself to stop you from putting a pacifism on it. Oh, a fourth land. How fantastic is that? Let's just make a bunch of goblins. last turn except I have two more three more creatures out another guild globe okay uh, yeah that's an okay card but it needs a way to sacrifice itself to be good to the man. Let's do it. Do it up. Do you have, like, some way to keep cards in your hand or something? So do I just win? Yep. I just win. Alright. Well, there we go. Goblins. This is a good hand. This is a really good hand. This is excellent. This is turning out better and better. I'm going to sandbag this prospector just in case he kills that one. He's playing red. Interesting. That cannot hit a creature. Oh, there's a third land. That's fantastic. Um... I mean, we could sack the prospector to get the war chief out. 
But I think it'd be better to wait until next turn to do that. So we're just gonna pass. No attacks. Next turn. Pyromancer might come over here and smack me around a little bit. Well. Prospector, do you feel better? Is that a wizard? It is a wizard. That's not even right. Well, I'm gonna bounce right back. Prospector, that's fantastic. Let's do this. And then. Okay. Next turn, Siege Gang Commander, Skirk Prospector. You might not make it. No! You cannot draw cards. I will say no again one more time. And then you can shock me. Absolutely perfect. Seed Gang Commander. And then we're gonna script prospector. Script prospector. Script prospector. Say thank you, as he said nice. Three for a Kranko. We get more goblins off Krenko. We hit him for a bunch. And then we'll kill him with... Goblins for the win! Again! And, yeah, I'm ranking up the gold. Tristan, 116. Or 116, however you want to say that. This is the dream. <laughs> this is the dream. Couldn't there be a better hand? This is absolutely perfect. Turn one, Skirt Prospector. Two, Instigator. Which leads into a turn three, War Chief. Absolutely perfect. Oh, there's Muck's daddy. He just shows up out of nowhere. Hey, I want to join the party, guys. Go, go play without me. I'll 
ping you for one with a skirt prospector. He's got a red land out. I wonder what he's gonna do. Oh, mono red versus mono red. This could get interesting. No, let me think about this for a second. If I sack, wait. Let's do this after combat. Everybody go. Okay, and then sack that. Play this guy. It's beautiful. This mirror match. I need to get him. It's functionally identical to this guy. No. He gives him pluses. Interesting. Yeah, I gotta get a hold of some of them. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, what, what should we do here? I, th I feel like Krenko tap for four goblins. Mux Daddy is probably going to be the best bet. Oh, so if I just hit auto pay, it'll make me sack goblins. Yep. First of all, I can cast this Cranko for one. And then, I can swing all. Wow. No matter what goblins I sack at this point. I have exactly enough to do it. Game over. This is extremely fast for a goblin deck, especially if you can get a roll like that. That was what, turn three, turn four? This looks okay. Uh, uh, yeah, Th Thrashmaster plus Cranko and all this stuff. This will be. This should do it. Let's see if we can get the Goblin Ball rolling again. Oh yeah, it's definitely happening. You got a War Chief and three mana. <laughs> Which he turns the rest of this into three mana. Oh, it's so good. Okay, let's celebrate. What does this thing do? Okay, it, it dies. Okay. Roar. Um. So I'm just not going to attack into that thing yet. Okay, when that thing dies, it makes it go. 
Okay. Right, no blocks, I'll take the two. That's not that big a deal. seems familiar, like I've done this before. Not against this deck, but a different deck. Yeah, he's gonna block, get his goat. I think no have death touch or anything, does it? Oh! Okay. Fine then. That's why he's got all the stuff that when it dies, it does stuff. It's because of that guy. Okay. No blocks. Ooh. That's evil. That's just straight up evil. Let's do it. Crinkle? Goblin? Ball swing? I'll let you declare your blocks. Then I amber cleave. Kill that thing. I mean, that's pretty much it. Unless you have something that can take care of Krenko, you're going to take a bajillion next turn. Oh, Wolf Trader. Yep. Okay. That's just a lot. <laughs> wow. I, I'm on quite a roll here. Oh my goodness. There it is again. Prospector, instigator, leader. Commander, if I top deck a, a mountain and, and the, the one that gives me makes me cheaper, this is absolutely perfect on curve. And I have Squee just because Squee is cool. There's something awesome about a goblin that just will never go away. Sure, I'll attack her one with a skirt prospect. Go get him. Against Fobator. Child of Night. Okay. That's a thing. I may just have to jump the gun and deal with it right now. Um, no. I will. I'll let him attack into me. Trade him. Yeah. That's going to have to get dealt with immediately. And that's the ticket right there. Okay, so Skirk Prospector for one red, and then that's going to sneak in Commander. <laughs> be able 
to... I don't want to let that thing get any bigger. But I can do this at instant speed, so... I'll wait until he tries to do something that's going to gain him life, and then I'll shoot the aerialist with these tokens. And instigators. Oh. Oh. I may just have to go wide and attack past him. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely looking like a wide strat. Here's what we'll do. We'll attack in with everything except for Seed Gang and Prospector. He's going to take it all. Alright. Now we shoot that one. These two twos are good for just bodies on the ground, so you don't really want to get rid of them if you can help it for the mana. <clears throat> Ahem. Do you not understand how this guy works? I can sack that and that for mana and then he can throw himself did you not know that and now your murderous rider sits in the graveyard not in the bottom of your deck and I win this race because I'm already winning this race kind of redundant actually top that crinko or mux daddy yeah something something big something good that thing is uh that thing is going to start growing not good for me. Yeah, I'm at 14. Oh, that's not what I was, I was hoping for. There's a squeeze. At this point, we'll keep him back. Send the team. Just keep chipping away. At this point, it's a race. Block a 1-1 one, one token rather than any of the other. Okay, fine. That's going to hit you for one on your of your own. And then I take seven. And you die of what I have on board. Unless you have a way to get rid of it. Okay. That helps. That's three more life. Um, 
hate to break it to you, sis, but I still win. Not beat double strike. I'm gonna let him click the button and that's a good game. And I can cast squeak. Still had the man of the cast squeak. Wow. Well there. Goblins getting me to gold tier one. That triple cranko, <laughs> two different versions of cranko. Um, this will be all right. Johnny's welcome. What? Half a soul warden on a on an enchantment. Out of attack for one. And then nothing spectacular there. You play a soul warden and we're gonna have issues. Another of Johnny's welcome. This looks like mono white life gain. Uh, let's go with Cranko, 10th Street, Kingpin. And then attack for one with a Gershaw. Johnny's pride mate right there. Surely is. That's a really, really good card. I have to say it's one of the best. We want to attack with Franco just to get the goblins. He's going to block it. He's not going to block it. He thinks I have something up. That was good for me. Mm -hmm. The watered down version of a Johnny's Pride Mate. Like the starting number matters. It could be a two mana seven seven and, and gain life and put counters on it. It does not matter. <laughs> they get stupid huge. Yeah, goblin fodder. I got plenty of it. Yep, we're gonna just throw up just in front of that. Sure, yep. You should have probably dealt with that when you had the chance. Oh. Okay. Let me show you a trick. Uh, if you use the skirt prospect here, sacrifice a Cranko. You can play a different Cranko. Alright. Let's send everybody except Prospector. He can only block one, he'll take two damage. That's good for us. We have a blocker for that, 
for that. A Johnny's Pride Mate and the Hollow Priest. And we're just gonna be able to tap for a bajillion goblins next turn with Krenko. I'm hoping to draw a war leader pretty soon. A war chief. Goblin War Chief, I think that's what it's called. Says crank over the dump. Look at you go. My goodness. This is definitely mono white life life, life gain. A Johnny's pride mate. What's there to say about Johnny's pride mate? Yeah, both Krenkos. Simultaneous. Let's see. Attack everybody except for Krenko and Prospector. We'll let you declare all your blocks. And then pop this Krenko. <laughs> Maximize the number of goblins we get here. Right at 20. Oh, no, you get to 21 now, don't you? Wow. Look at you go. I'm going to have to gang up on a pride uh, on a pride mate with a, a pile of goblins. Just got to pile right up on him. Um, we are going to attack with everything. Except for this Krenko and Skirk Prospector. Yeah, I'm not attacking with that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bunch of ones going wide. It really works against this deck, I'm telling you. Oh, look at all those goblins I just got. Oh. 16 goblins. I think I might have just won the game right there. He has a 1 1 flyer with lifelink that can make his guys that can't get at me bigger. Tribunal and about exile target Krinko, my boss. <laughs> yep, saw that coming. It's too late for that. You can't block uh, enough to stop lethal damage. Attack with everything, and you're just asking to die in the crackback. Oh, aren't you going to be salty? Just play another Franco on the team. Except for Skirk. 23 minus 4 is 19. Even if you gain one, you still die. Yep, simultaneous good game. Amazing. Okay, so after playing the game, the games with this deck, it's really good. Uh, mono red goblin ball, goblin tokens, 
is viable. I, I won like four or five games in a row. I think I lost one time to a bad beat at the beginning of the run and then I just ran with it all the way to the end. I'm probably going to include all those games because they were really fast. Um, the Skirk Prospector on turn one, if you can get him, that's like the dream. Turn two, Goblin Instigator. So you turn one, this guy, turn two, this guy. Turn three, any of these that you get. Any of them, doesn't matter which one. If you get the War Chief, that's the best one, but Cranko or Squee will do the job. You can sack Squee to the Prospector over and over and over again. It's fun. And then, once you get War Chiefs out, this stuff starts becoming cheaper. <clears throat> and I, I'm sure that there's a couple times there where I cast Cranko, this Cranko for two, or any of these guys for two. I think there was a time there where I cast Siege Gang Commander for two. So, yeah, War Chiefs are good. <laughs> Plus, giving them haste, like, turn three, Goblin War Chief. Turn four, you don't draw your land, but you play Cranko and tap for six more goblins. It's, it, it's not fair. Or at least four more. Let's see. If you had a Skirk Prospector, Goblin Instigator comes with another one, and then you got a War Chief. So then you Cranko and another Instigator, and then tap Cranko for seven more goblins on turn three or four. Uh, and then all of them can attack because they're hasty. I, 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 and then turn four, that was turn four. Turn five, you're going to, if you don't have your lands, you can sack stuff to Prospector for your commander, Siege Gang, or Muxus. And it, when you draw Amber Cleave, you put it on the biggest goblin you have. It, it's very, very one-minded, single-minded. Play as many goblins as possible. Attack every turn. That's all you do. Um, so if you're looking for a more interactive deck, this probably isn't a deck for you. If you're just looking for a deck that wins fast and wins a lot that you can climb the ladder with, this will work. Me personally, I prefer a deck that takes a little bit more skill to operate. So this, I mean, it's fun to drop out a bunch of goblins and attack for the game, but it gets repetitive after you play it for three, four hours straight. So th there's that to consider. I feel like it's not quite up my alley. It's good enough to be a deck that I have built in my collection. So there's that. Um, I generally don't keep decks that don't run right. That don't work the way I want them to. Don't play the way I feel like they should. I usually just delete the deck list. But yeah, if you're looking for a deck that can win in the ladder and advance you through the ranks without too much trouble and you just want to win fast <clears throat> and win hard like the only time you lose is if somebody has a well timed board wipe if somebody comes up with say say they doom scar you on turn 5 okay yeah you got me but in a format where everybody's playing best of one games you're not going to run into that that much so that's my thoughts on it it does win I did do quite a, a bit of advancement up the ladder while I was playing this one for this video like as you see I got all the way into the gold tier one so yeah it works it does what you want it to do goblin ball is a thing but I'm going to leave it there thank you very much for stopping by everybody don't forget to like and subscribe before you go you people have a wonderful day we'll catch you next time Arctic Wolf out